Hi, my name is Dan Levy and I'm the National Director for AECOM's Algae Practice. I'm here today on Harsha Lake, right outside of Cincinnati. We were asked by the Governor's Office and the Ohio DNR to come out and demonstrate our innovative process and how we can mitigate harmful algal blooms. Today we are showing that we can extract harmful algae from the water, transform it into a bio crude oil, and then return clean processed water back. This is the first time that we have brought all of our technologies to one site, and today we'll be showing everybody how we can create biofuel within 30 minutes of extracting it from the water. This is groundbreaking and exciting information, and we have it here today at Harsha Lake. So one of the biggest issues with Harsha Lake that is causing these serious algae blooms is the fact that there are very high nutrient concentrations, so that is phosphorus and nitrogen in the lake water. And those are the nutrients that really drive algal growth. In Harsha Lake, because those algae levels are so high, when the algae die and decompose, they use up all of the oxygen in the deep water of the lake, which can result in fish kills. This is especially problematic as Harsha Lake is a source of drinking water for Claremont County. As you can see here, this is the intake that we're currently going to remove the intact algae cells and transform them into a bio crude oil. During the hydronucleation process, we take those intact algae cells and coagulate them to form bigger flocked particles. As you can see here, the algae cells are now visible to the naked eye. This allows us to physically extract these cells from the water and return clean processed water back to the lake. The next step in the process is we extract the algae. In this jar is the algae biomass that we have taken out of the water. This has an abundant amount of carbon. We are now going to transform this into bio crude by using hydrothermal liquefaction, essentially adding heat and pressure the same way that nature does, but we're gonna do it in 30 minutes. And by doing so, we're going to create a carbon-free bio crude oil the crude oil is essentially identical to fossil oil, but it allows us to now create an energy source from harvesting algae. As you can see, this is the processed water that we turned back to Lake Harsha. We have the technology and the ability now to implement these algae harvesting projects throughout the country. We have the ability now to start mitigating harmful algal blooms. The unfortunate thing, time is not on our side. Harmful algal blooms are lasting longer. They're becoming more toxic and they're becoming a widespread problem throughout the country. Today, we demonstrated that we have the ability not only to harvest the algae from these water, but we can create a renewable fuel source and return back clean, processed water to the lake. 